So let's consider how to traverse a nested list. And I'm going to go ahead and make a nested list. So call it nested. And let's do three, three sublists. And this first one will be um, spider, not spinder, but spider, moth, uh, ant. And this will be an arachnid. And oh gosh, what are moths? Um, they're like butterfly teddy bears. <laughs> That's their official name. I usually know I usually know this word. Oh well, that's fine. And then um, ants, oh, don't remember this either. But uh, let's say they're just formica lovers. They like formica a lot. And spiders are um, on the scary scale uh, for me are somewhere around a 10. Uh, moths and ants are both ones. So maybe spiders are a nine. I'll give myself some credit. All right, so if we want to traverse this, um, we can do for each sublist in nested, we can print, uh, let's just print each of those lists to start. And what we'll see is we've separated these out pretty effectively. Um, Yes. So we have spider, moth, ant, arachnid, butterfly, teddy bear, formica, lovers, 911. Uh, that wasn't on purpose. But hey, uh, cool. So if I want to access each element in the sublist, so I can just do for element in that sublist, right? And we can print each of these in turn. And this is just going to give us a big stack of things. So you know, not um, maybe not the most helpful thing in the immediate, but if you're trying to unpack a list and you want to do it automatically, you can do it like this. And I'll demonstrate that in just a second. So I'll go ahead and run this and notice spider, moth, ant, arachnid, etc. So I'm going to make uh, an accumulator and I'm just going to call it all LMs. And instead of printing here, I'm going to just take all LMs and append each LM. And if I print all LMs, I think we shouldn't be surprised to find that instead of having a nested uh, set of lists, right? Instead of having nested lists here, we have an unpacked list into a single list, right? So there's no nesting in our final result. So that's how you traverse a single nested loop. Uh, there, you know, you can think about this in terms of however many nestings, right? You could have many nestings. And sometimes you'll have data that's delivered to you in kind of this form, right? Where a spider is an arachnid, right? We've got these three parallel lists within a single list. And Unpacking this doesn't really help us deal with that data in terms of um, associating it with itself. There are other things we'll explore when we get to dictionaries that would be much more helpful for making these associations right between spider, arachnid, and scary level of nine. Um, but yeah, unpacking a nested list, pretty straightforward. Um, you know, you might want to figure out on your own time, can you write a function that will intelligently unpack a nested list that is of n nestings, of some arbitrary number of nestings, and with different lengths for each of the sublists?